Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as a Russian SFSR. And, and in this episode, we might just capitulate the Germans. So I got a few comments yesterday detailing what I should do next. First of all, uh, someone recommended I move my tanks northward to take more of the German states, the German lands over here. But I am using the player led Peace Conferences mod, so really, I'm going to be able to dictate what territories people get. But I will do that later on. What I really want to do first is make sure that I can cut this portion off of Hungary. Cut, cut these people off. And circle destroy them. Send the tanks then northward. And then push that way. Push left. Pushed west. Right now because I did check. And the Germans are holding off the Allies at this point. Not too badly. The Germans are holding their lines for the most part. So the Allied invasion of northern France is still going underway basically. Uh, like I said before, I'm really surprised that Italy hasn't done anything. Like, there's been no invasions of Italy. Uh, I have been told I should probably maybe update my strategic bombers eventually. Which sounds like a really good idea, and I totally will. Just because our... Because those strategic bombers are the only ones that are actually able to bomb the hell out of anybody using nukes. So I'll probably do that. Right now, what you're looking at... Is that actually I moved my Asian guys, my guys in Asia. Well, maybe they're Asian, but my army in Asia down here. I'm gonna send them as quickly as I can to Finland, so that this way we can go to war with Finland. Because someone also said that even though right now the independence of the Republic of Finland is guaranteed by the Allies, I still want to take them out, maybe right before or as soon as the Germans capitulate, just so that I can take them out, add them to our alliance. And stuff like that. But I got to make sure I have a non-aggression pact with the Allies first. So that they won't hopefully join the war. They probably still will to be honest. But um, I already have a non-aggression pact with all the Allies. Which is actually pretty good. Including Free France. As well as the United Kingdom. So anyways the show must go on. And I want everyone to come here. Y even you. Cool. Let's go ahead and continue for now. As we, I will research some more aluminum factories as well, because obviously our aluminum production, it ain't the greatest, so. And we could always use more. And then come down to like there or something. Alright, and if the Allies even invade navally, they might get pushed out. Maybe not. I mean, Spain, or French held Spain, isn't doing so well. They got some support weapons, great, improved rubber plants. Uh, better aluminum company? Yes, please. Let's see. What else do we need? ET? Maybe more steel. Less reliability for advanced flamethrower? Probably isn't great right now. But we'll get advanced desert and jungle clothing for more less heat attrition. And I guess the capital of Germany right now is Amsterdam. Because technically, all the former Netherlands territory is the core for Germany. And it looks like the Allies are trying to break the German lines. They might in one spot or two, but whatever. We'll see what happens. Uh, right now, our tanks are doing an okay job. Uh, go ahead. I uh, don't exactly want us to uh, get encircled. So you stay there. As we move this direction. As these guys are also going to help attack at the same time. As well as you. One... Medium sized encirclement coming up. And. We almost have it. Awesome. Immediately begin an attack on these locations. You guys. You three can attack this way. Send one guy this way. Hopefully, we won't get re encircled. Actually, just move up that direction. You basically do the same thing. Take a couple of you guys. Come here. You three. Come to here, to here, to here. You guys come here. Quite the encirclement I have made for us already. Send you three that direction as well. Cool. This little encirclement will cost the Axis pretty much any chance of them winning the war. Which is awesome. Oh, well, looks like they actually invaded Spain again. And this time it was by the Mexicans. The Mexicans invaded Spain. Or at least Iberia. Awesome, guys. Good job. Good, good job. And we are making some nukes. It's really slow. I only have one or two nuclear reactors. So. Oh, I guess I have three then. Nice. That's better than two. Better than one. So that's pretty good. You guys were defeated. Help them out. D up here. 
Uh, actually, let's take a quick look. So casualties for the Axis is 37 million, minus 7.77, which actually isn't terrible. Uh, actually, Italy isn't anywhere close to capitulating because no one's taking their territory. Japan has to die eventually. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna take out Japan, because the Allies obviously aren't doing it. No naval invasions of Japan, apparently. Good, good, good. We're doing a great job. Make your way down there. Go ahead and re-attack them. Send you guys this way. Send you guys this way. Oh, Constantine, do you have anything for me? No? Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Supplies right now. We could use more heavy tanks. The 1946 Imperial Conference, which is the 12th Imperial Conference. Uh, let's discuss matters over the concern of the entire empire. We will follow those developments not very closely. We need more medium bombers. We got plenty enough heavy fighters now. Actually, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and add a few more heavy fighters to the army group that will be based around Finland for the Finnish invasion. If this puts us at war with the Allies, then so be it. Then so be it. Yeah, I really need more medium bombers. I got some maritime patrol bombers. It's not bad. Uh, if I had to put you somewhere, I would probably put you over here first. Actually, get two more heavy, 200 more heavy fighters for air support, and then maritime patrol bombers. Good. Uh, actually, heavy fighters can do these as well. Wow. Yeah, don't do that. Nice. Very good. Oh, looks like the Allies invaded Italy. Interesting. And this little pocket has... Oh, that's, that looks terrible. That looks absolutely terrible. One... Wow. Wow. And obviously the Allies are... Or the Axis is pushing up against us again. But, you know what? After all those losses, I don't think that the Axis can really recover from that. I will send my tanks up this way. Come on. There you go. Goal is as many German core territories as possible. I will set these guys to go ham. Two more infantry divisions. Actually, send you this way. Send you here. That'd be good. Tanks. You are moving northward, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and replace another heavy tank with a modern tank. Great. Supplies. Medium bombers could be better. Fighters. Well, don't really use fighters. Modern tanks, obviously. Not bad, but not great. Support equipment. Yeah, other than that, we're doing pretty darn well. And then I will have one massive push against the enemy. Let's take a look. So they didn't actually suffer that many million casualties, but they still suffered a massive loss of manpower and just divisions overall, which is awesome. So it looks like the Axis is actually not able to defend their lands as well, at least in Spain. Because Mexico, when Mexico invades Spain, you know they're serious. Looks like the Allies invaded here. Wait for the tanks to get up top. And then we will one, do one hell of a massive push across the entire front line, which probably won't break the Germans, but you never know. It might actually break them. Let's see. Put 200 more here. And then... Put another 200 here. Cool. All right, tanks. Tell me when you're ready to go. Rock and roll. Actually, we don't. We haven't even discovered what rock and roll is. I don't think so. It's 1946. We're playing as the Russian SFSR. We probably don't know what rock and roll is. Give our guys just a little bit of time to prepare. Get a little bit of that organization up, and then we will go. We will steamroll those German booties. And I'm going to prepare for my time when I have to write down, so I can probably fade in, fade out, and. Uh, Reorganize Europe in the way we like it. All right, good enough. Let's uh, pause it. This will hopefully be the last greatest offensive of the Second World War, because obviously we're fighting against Japan as well and things like that. Ooh, someone in oh, they've been invading this area. That's not good. Uh, let's see. Before we do that, six divisions I have here. Go and do that. You know what? We could probably actually build this up to have a little bit more resistance here, too. Radar. Yeah, that would actually be really good to build there. We built anywhere more south. Ah, oh, actually built there too, and then another aluminum plant. 30, 40, 50, 60. Not bad. Alright, build. 
three more. I could really use those. All right, and here we will go with the, hopefully, the last greatest offensive of this war. All right, so no one's really going. I forgot to maybe do this. No? Okay, so everyone's still reorganizing or something. What the heck is going on? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wrong guys. Not you guys. But these guys. Yeah, okay. I got confused there for a little bit. Now this is second greatest offensive. Oh, yeah. This is... This is nice. This is really nice. Tanks are just gonna... No, allies. No, you don't. Don't take that German core territory. And looks like Krakow is going to fall. And they have fallen. Good. I mean, obviously the Balkans are still a major pain in the butt, but at least we got through the Carpathian Mountains. Is that the Carpathians? Northern Transylvania, Carpathian Ruthenia. Ah, the Balkans are such a weird place. Yeah, and honestly, it was really us, the Soviet Union, the, the Russian SFSR, that really liberated Yugoslavia from the clutches of the Axis. Oh, yeah, we're doing a great job over here. Oh, the Yalta Conference. Hmm. With the war against the German Reich marching towards the inevitable conclusion, the German, or the United Kingdom, has approached us about a conference on the future of Europe. They're suggesting a division of the German Reich between East and West. This would allow our sphere of influence to extend deep into Europe, which would make up for some losses while we have suffered in this gruesome struggle. Um... I'm gonna say no. But I want to say yes. What we're gonna do is I will do this... But it's going to be a little bit different of a peace conference than our timeline. Mostly because Yugoslavia is supposed to be, in our timeline, be a communist state. And obviously they're in the Allies now, so we can't have them. So I'm going to demand even more territory of Germany, probably. In which I'm probably going to take all of northern Germany as well as Prussia. Probably give Prussia to Poland. Actually, maybe not. I have to really figure out what we're going to do here, so... That's real... Yeah, we're going to do something a little bit different than what is historically normal. Get some more reliability. Uh, yeah. Going to need more reliability on there. That. Okay, so we can do that. We get more naval attack. Quite a bit more range. Uh, go do that and do that instead. I want more naval attack. Max speed's okay. I want more naval attack. God dang it. Uh, we have to do that, and so be it. Really good, really, really good naval bombers now. And then... Yeah, once we have the peace conference... Ooh, heavy bomber, yes. Oh, I didn't realize there was a 1944 version we could have done. Whatever. And I will go with some strategic bombers eventually. We don't have a nuke yet. I would love to nuke Germany, but... Yeah, definitely this world is going to absolutely look different than our timeline. Just because the Allies will have part of the Balkans. But I'm going to take quite a bit more German territory because it's mostly been me who has been taking German land. I mean, we might just get to Stuttgart or Frankfurt before the Allies do, so. And honestly, the Allies have done basically nothing to invade Germany. I mean, we're still suffering down here in the Balkans, which really sucks, but whatever. And once the Germans fold, it's all over then. They're only, though, 54% of the way towards capitulation. Um, I can't really tell you guys to go any faster. Oh, but our guys over here are good to go. That's good. As soon as the Germans capitulate, I will, or once the Axis capitulates, I will immediately declare war on Finland. And if that puts us at war with the Allies, then so be it. Whatever. So be it. Yeah, Slovakia, I hate fighting mountains so much. I never use mountaineers really anymore unless they're already pre-made for us. No, allies, you're not allowed to take the territory that I've mostly been working for. Not bad, not mad, not mad, not bad. We're definitely going to get Denmark, though. Go ahead, you go to Copenhagen. Uh, take the other guy, too. Actually, come down here. Take these territories first. Nice, not bad, pretty good. Another tank division, I love it. And... The Allies still can't break through northern France. That's pathetic. Or even northern Sp Spain. Or eastern Spain. Hmm. At the moment, I don't have coffee, if you were wondering. I do have some green tea, though. This, this batch isn't too bad, but, you know, whatever. Oh, a nice little three-division encirclement. Lovely. 
Very good. Great job. Mikhail, do you have anything for us? Oh, god dang, I'll do this eventually. Why not? Uh, we want Emden. They are surrounded. They cannot get out of there, but they are not... Oh, now we're winning. Awesome. Looks like the Allies might be invading Norway. Maybe. Come on, Germany. You gotta fold eventually. And then we're gonna go straight for Italy. Actually, I might split Italy in two. Just because I don't see any major naval invasion of Italy except for down here. So, I definitely will rethink about the borders of Europe once this is over. Because for the most part, I mean, I've conquered at least half of Germany. Including Prussia, Denmark, which obviously isn't part of Germany, but you know what I mean, I hope. I hope. Awesome, air doctrine, air stuff. Alright, let's go for that strategic bomber now. Yeah, just, I'm going to keep it on being reckless as all hell for just trying to attack. Because right now, we definitely don't want the Allies to get that much territory. We even are breaking across into the Netherlands to uh, satisfy our goals. Yeah, so obviously, Yugoslavia and Greece will be part of the Allies. Albania will be part of the Allies. But, hmm, I think I will probably end up splitting Italy in half. Just because they already have Turkey in the Allies. I really will have to think about this. Slovakia is just refusing to die. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, we have suffered eight... Well, I guess us personally have suffered about six and a half. A little less than six and a half casualties. Six and a half million casualties. So that's not bad. But yeah, in terms of this... I mean, we do have Spain in our alliance too. I can't forget about that. So, yeah, this peace conference will be looking very, very weird. Ah, oh, good. Slovakia's gone. Hmm. So they get all of Yugoslavia. They get all of Greece. They get all of... Oh, probably Albania as well, just to link those guys up. We have Spain, but Italy... I'm thinking both Italy and Germany will have to be split up. And then, as for Austria... I might just leave Austria to the Allies if I could take Northern Germany. I think that would probably be best. But Because look... I've even I've even invaded the Netherlands and almost yeah they haven't even taken a piece of Germany just yet so oh looks like we got some more naval dockyards for now uh, I'm making a couple convoys just oh better cruisers yes I forgot about these that's not good of me uh, go ahead and put on a what if we did a light cruiser battery and compare that to a dual purpose so this would lower our speed still. A little more light attack, a little less piercing. Quite a bit more anti-air. Actually, I don't mind that. Improve this. Rapid fire guns to the battery. Improve torpedoes by quite a bit. I don't use mines very much. Do that. And then do some more anti-air. Ooh, anti-air 3. Very nice. Do another... Light cruiser battery 4. Even more anti-air. Firing control systems are fine enough. They get pretty good radar. Pretty good engines. Someone was injured. Dual purpose secondary guns. And then cruiser armor. God dang, I can't do that. I was not paying attention to this. God dang it. So let's redo that again. I don't need you here. So let's keep in mind... Uh, if I have to leave these on... So be it for now. Let's just get what we can do. So we're going to go with dual purpose, get a better battery, definitely better torpedoes, definitely get some more anti-air, dual purpose, uh, I can't even get dual purpose, Jesus. Uh, what about r radar? Uh, that costs five? Jesus. Uh, I'll just, we're not going to make light cruisers just yet. But if we have to make something, we will make a... Ooh, super heavy battleship hull. Oh my goodness. I like being thick. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we already have... Well, wow, that's a lot that we already have. 1944 destroyers. There you go. Oh, there you go. Go ahead and go to Leningrad. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, at this point, I've literally taken pretty much almost all of Germany by myself, so... The Allies really won't get any part of Germany then, if that's the case. 
And honestly, because I'm playing as a Russian SFSR, and because of the historical war that happened between the old Soviet Union with me, Trotsky, uh, me as Trotsky, and Lenin versus Poland, the Polish state will exist, but it will be very extremely small. And I took all of Germany. Oh my gosh. Seriously. That's amazing. Alright, reform... Okay, that's not good. Um... Oh god, no. Go ahead and do this. Separate you guys. And just tell them to go finish those guys up, because Italy is going to be one hell of a mess. I mean, at this point, I'm literally just going to take all of Germany for myself. So... Ah, uh, very nice. Oh, actually, we have our tanks still here. So, actually, the tanks... You'll be on the border with the Italians. Try to get down to Sicily if you can. Um, for you guys... Okay, can I... Thank you. Kill these guys off. And then you guys... Get down here, too. Ah, oh, very nice. So, actually, the... I mean, they barely got this territory... So I'm not going to give them any part of Germany. There's no way they can get Germany if they can't even kill off Vichy France yet. So I'll probably split up Italy. Ah, very good. What is a, a war contributions? I have 45%. The UK has 18. And the USA has 11. Interesting. What I might do is split Italy into three parts. I mean, France doesn't deserve anything at all. Especially because they... What's a war participation? War participation of free France. 2%. Yeah, you don't deserve anything, France. So, uh, guys, guys, please, just just end them. Just make it down here. Oh, Mikhail, do you have anything else? No, god dang it, Mikhail. He's level 9. It's not bad, but... Oh, we got some more government policy. Hmm. I will invade Finland soon. Just don't be too worried about that. Uh, legal status of women. I don't care still. Let's go with ideological struggle so we get even faster to justify war goal times. And then... Um, planes. I'm not making any carriers whatsoever because I really can't yet. But I might be interested in making some subs. I don't use snorkels anymore because they're really bad, at least in the current meta. At least of the timing of when this video comes goes up. No, I still don't have anything there. Nice, we got a lot of factories though. The tanks are having a good time. Having a good old time. Hungary is gone. Awesome. Obviously, Hungary will be a part of our glorious... Glorious uh, faction when the war is over. Please come this way, guys. Okay, come on. This lag is pretty bad now. Uh, let's see. You, um, you guys come over here. Beat these guys up. That's good. That's good. That's good. We're well, looking like a one heck of a red Europe at, by the end of this war. Hmm. bum bum bum. Go ahead and just. Push him in. Don't give him quarter. Don't give him rest. Take Kosic. Kosic. Do that. Very nice. How are the tanks doing? We've taken Venice. Yeah, what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to split up the Allies. I'm probably going to end up splitting Italy into North and South Italy. I'm probably honestly going to be able to take Northern Italy, maybe... Maybe, and give the rest of southern Italy to the Allies. Just because I don't see the Allies pushing that hard into Italy. Not too much. Especially if I, can, if I can take Rome, then I will do that. Unless someone objects in the comments below. Very nice. Go ahead, guys. Just, okay, they're dead. Uh, Well, this is probably a terrible, terrible idea. And I don't want to liberate Yugoslavia, because... Why should my men die for Yugoslavia? Because it's part of the Allies. God dang it, now you've invaded... Italy, come on, guys. Really? After I do all the hard work, after we've... I've gotten rid of almost 20 million Germans myself, Vichy France is about to capitulate as well, Italy is slowly beginning to disintegrate. Why is no one doing anything but Japan? Like, allies, allies, guys, guys. What the heck? How many ships does Japan still have? They have... 
or at least probably 350 ships and you're doing nothing about it guys what the heck uh, I will leave these guys here though for now just because um yeah the fins I'm going to go to war with the fins uh, but do we have any extra planes we can maybe put here oh yeah we do yeah we do awesome do I have any oh, I got 100 got a couple medium bombers that we took from enemies yeah, heavy fighter bombers, huh? Do that and go there when you're ready. Awesome. Come on, are you ready to be split up yet or no? Okay then. There you go. Vichy France has fallen. They've fallen, they can't get up. My allies back. And now we're just going to just cram ourselves into Italy as hard as hell. Uh, actually, you guys. Do that. Take Rome if you can. Just go as fast as you possibly can. I don't want the Allies to get Sicily. I mean, they can get Sicily. I want Italy, though. That's really my goal. Kuzma? No. So be it. Yeah, that was pretty pathetic of the Allies. That They didn't even take a single thing of... Germany, really? I mean, they took Wilhelmshaven. And Belgium got a little bit of Moselin, but in exchange for Moselin, I'm going to give them back the Netherlands. So that should pretty much clear up any differences. Really, Germany should be my entire puppet because they've done nothing. They've literally done nothing against Germany. Come on, guys. Get down there before... Oh, we'll get down there probably in time. Turin. Take Milan. Yeah, take Milan. Screw that. No, thank you. Oh, have we found... Oh, there's some destroyers. If we have to delete the Japanese Navy this way, so be it. God dang it, I need a lot of um, aluminum, as some would say. Oh yeah, let's make a lot of aluminum factories now. Yeah, I'll just make a ton of them. Who cannot supply me with my goodies? Thailand. 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 Guys, guys, come on, I've been so nice to you. And this is how you repay me? Fine, so be it. I'll create my own stuff. Oh, looks like the Japanese invaded down here. Uh, where is this army? Make your way down here, guys. Oh, you're already down here in Siam. Oh, that's not bad. No, 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 no. Go ahead and come here. Get rid of these guys. Oh, battery of BE6. Very nice. That's good. That's really good, actually. Next up. We'll do that, because why not? And... Uh, oh, oh, now we can do level 4. God, uh, just do that anyways. God dang, I should not have spent that air XP on that level 3 or level 4 thing, but whatever. Yeah, just keep going, guys. We will end the episode when Italy capitulates, so... Just to warn you guys. They're about a little less than halfway. About eight and a half million dead Italians. Thank you very much. Don't let them get Naples. Come on, move, move. I want everyone down here. Come on. Come down here. I don't mind if you guys take turn, though. Uh, you guys come this way. Go ahead and try to pull a sneaky on them and take Rome if you can't. Well, then that's a bunch of crap. This is uh, absolutely unfair. They should not get be able to naval invade like this. That's not very fair. I'm still taking Northern Italy regardless. So, yeah, you just invade here and do nothing? Come on. You're not doing any fighting? Not very fair. Not very fair at all. I'll just look in. A couple divisions are left down here. Go, just end their lives, please. And there goes a the fall of Rome. Great. So, that will be this episode of the entire. Uh, yeah, it'll be this at the end of the episode. Um, Right now, I will do a massive change to the world in terms of peace conferences uh but with that in mind leave your ideas below i'm probably going to honestly take all of germany i might give them a pretty thick germany just because i don't want to reduce the lag and make sure my puppets themselves are actually somewhat powerful but anyways guys thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate it when you guys take your time out of your day and watch me leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you're new and i will see you tomorrow in a post world war ii potentially world war three world. Thanks for watching.